Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the very newly launched Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte Lipsticks. Now, I know in my channel, I have been uploading a lot of lipsticks video back to back, but I promise you there is a lot coming up soon. Like I have in mind to do like a foundation review, like a series of it. So every week there will be like a new foundation review for oily skin. And also there will be like eyeshadow and eye looks and reviews and uh, tutorials like that and uh, a lot of comparisons dupes and everything so there is a lot going to come up so stay tuned for that now coming back to the Maybelline one now they do offer about 11 shades in total and I have picked out seven of them so as always do check out the description box below to see the shades that I picked out for myself and for foundation shade reference I am NC40 in Mac now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to be notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right into the video so first let's talk about the features of the product as mentioned on the nika website now it says that it's a full coverage liquid lipstick that sets to a beautiful matte finish it is highly pigmented formula delivers rich color payoff and offers smooth blendability lightweight texture does not leave the lips dry or sticky it actually kind of does which i'll come to that later in some time uh, the doe foot applicator offers easy and precise application and it is available in a variety of shades to choose from which again is not so much is this 11 shades but okay so this is how the packaging comes in and it is a transparent plastic tube and it has the shade name right here in the most teeny tiniest font and this is how the doe foot applicator looks like now these are priced at 349 rupees for 7 ml of product let's talk about the formula of these liquid lipsticks now i'm going to talk first in general how it is and then i'll go over with the cons now firstly they are matte they are comfortable on the lips it is pigmented and i love the finish of it like once it is set i like the way how it looks these are transfer proof as well for example like it's barely there i'll quickly show the before and after picture of how it looked after my work and this is after eight to nine hours of shift however i did not have any heavy meal i just had like a sandwich a lot of water and i will also insert the video of how the lipstick looked after i had a very heavy oily meal today so this is how it looks after my lunch and these liquid lipsticks are scented as well. They do have that usual Maybelline vanilla caramelly kind of a smell. So it's not super strong, but then it does go off pretty quickly as well. And I almost forgot to mention that these do dry pretty fast, but I would suggest to wait for like 30 seconds to like 40 seconds and then it will be completely dry, but they dry pretty fast. And now for the cons on the formula of these liquid lipsticks. Now, the first point is that these are a bit tacky. It's not like super sticky, but it's slightly tacky. But then there is a way to work around it. Like for example, you would have to wait for the lipstick to set. You have to wait for them to completely dry and then it will be fine. Like right now, it's not tacky it's not sticky at all it's just that while it is wet if you press your lips together it will be tacky so make sure that you let it wait let it sit and set and then it should be fine the second thing is some of the darker shades i felt that it was a little bit difficult to work around compared to the lighter shades or the nude shades because the darker shades you have to go over them a few more times so you will need a full generous two layers to get the full pigmentation for the darker shades so for those it was a little bit tricky to work around but then it still works completely fine wherein the nudes i found them to be much more easier to apply and for the last con is one particular shade from the bottom of my heart i had such a difficult time with that shade you will see it in the lip swatch like i tried applying that shade with the foundation underneath without the foundation underneath it still was so streaky it was patchy when i pressed my lips together and it did not dry at all completely it was sticky patchy it was just a total mess and the shade is called 
birthday suit on i do not know if it's a one-off thing or it was just like the way how the shade is but that is one particular shade i would never recommend but apart from that every other shade looked really beautiful on me and i really love the selection as well so overall i do like this collection especially the shades that i picked out i like them a lot i mean like 350 rupees for 7 ml of product that is a great choice and an option except for that one shade do not like but apart from that i like the rest of them and it is a bit of a workaround to be done that is you need to wait until it dries down otherwise it is going to be tacky or sticky but then still 350 rupees good i literally forgot to mention that for the removal of these liquid lipstick i would highly highly suggest you use an oil based remover and wet wipes do not work the normal micellar water it does the job but it's a bit of a struggle but the oil infused Garnier micellar water works the best or anything which is oil based. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte Lipsticks and now let's move on to the lip swatches. The first shade is To The Fullest which is a beautiful bright orangey red shade. Next is Soft Wine, which is a dark burgundy shade. Up next is Flush It Red, which is a beautiful, bright, pink-based red. And now are the nudes and this is 06 Best Babe which is a mauve pink nude shade. And then we have Sensationally Me, which is a beautiful pinky nude shade. Now this one is birthday suit on which is a pale peachy nude shade And last but not the least is Made Easy which is my favourite shade out of all and this is a beautiful reddish brown terracotta kind of a shade. So 
so guys this wraps up today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so the notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's shanair on instagram and it's shanair on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye I know the reason she's so far